I've almost got all of my seeds bought for the 2024 gardening season and I'm pretty excited about it. Honestly guys, I have taken it easy this year. I have bought probably less seeds this year than it, the last five years, maybe four, five years. Um, but let's just get started because that's what you're here for. So I went to the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to start off. I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some seeds. And I grow a lot of things from the Dollar Tree. And they usually are pretty, pretty fantastic. They have good germination rates. In fact, I've bought lavender from the Dollar Tree. Um, in my gardener, Baker Creek, somewhere else. I cannot remember. And thus far, every time, every year, and I've done, I've done this experiment several years in a row, I've always had better germination rate with the Dollar Tree seeds. Now, however, I have terrible luck with lavender and I kill it. It gets this big. I don't know what happens. It's probably me. Um, I plant a lot of seedlings because a lot of them die. I mean, that's just it guys. So, um, Dollar Tree is a great place. And I got these like little marble peas. I have never grown shelling peas and I thought, why not do something different this year and try some shelling peas? I mean, if I don't like them, my chickens will like them. So, next we have oregano. It's kind of bright, but, um, I have oregano growing in my garden, but it, I don't really care for it. I don't know what it is about it. It just doesn't have a lot of smell or flavor. Um, so I got a couple different kinds of oregano from different places just to try out and see if, if that is better. I don't know. We're just experimenting. So oregano and these packages, this, these were a quarter a piece. So, um, I also got some cayenne pepper. Uh, cayenne pepper is very medicinal. So I thought it would be good to, to grow. 25 cents. You can't beat it. And then I got some snapdragons. I love snapdragons. My kids love snapdragons because they love to take them off and do, 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 pinch them like this. I don't, yeah, I, I will show you this summer if you've never seen it. It's, it really looks like a little dragon, like open its mouth. It's the cutest thing, but, um, I actually got two packages of these and I hear they're deer resistant. We're going to find out. I have a bed that I'd like to put them in. And then I got two of these packages of mixed color petunias and these are just going to go in some hanging baskets all right that is it for the dollar the dollar tree seeds up next we have walmart seeds i went to walmart i wasn't going to buy any seeds but i they were just calling to me so i had to go check them out and of course i found some beautiful petunias i'd like to get seeds from a couple different places just in case I have poor germination with one and um, also I have a seed buy-in problem I, I I'm a collector I'm a collector of seeds so you never know I also got oregano to try it out I have really been wanting to, to grow rutabecchia for a long time so Got some black eyed Susans. This is also a super medicinal plant. Mm. I've always wanted to try passion flower, but I've always just been afraid because I live in a really cold place. And honestly, okay, the package, if you if you just read the back of the package, it says only for the intrepid and patient gardener. This flower is a treat, but one that can be tricky. Germination varies from 14 to 365 days, depending on conditions. That has always like totally freaked me out and I've been terrified, but I see people growing it all the time on the internet. And I think, <sighs> I mean, it's $2 and I'm going to give it a try. This is a wonderfully medicinal plant. It grows on a vine. Hopefully I can grow it and, and show you guys. Um, it's really good for anxiety. Also, we got these double hollyhocks. Oh, can you see? They are lovely. Um, hollyhocks are also medicinal. They're in the marshmallow family. And um, just 
beautiful and I have an idea of where I want to grow these. Excited. And then some dark opal basil. And that is my Walmart tall. All right, up next is in my gardener. This is the in my gardener seeds. A lot of these are seeds that I've already planted before that I just needed more seeds because the last couple years I have not been really vigilant in saving a lot of my seeds for like peppers and tomatoes and things like that. I have been saving um, a lot of flower seeds because I want to grow a lot of flowers. It's just kind of an obsession, but I have gotten really lax in saving seeds. But this year, mm, I think it is a great time to to do better. My goodness, I forgot I I forgot I ordered this many seeds. Okay. This is a few more than I remember. <laughs> this is what happens. Well, I'm excited about these. Okay, the the ten fingers of Naples? Nepal? <laughs> I don't know. I, I am southern. Alright, and then ooh, ooh. Birdhouse gourd. Uh, these are wonderful. Let me show let me show you. I'm excited. So I grew these and I got one to grow full size. I have a really short season here. So growing things um, like gourds like this to maturity, it's kind of hard. But I am about to turn this into a, a bird house for my garden and I'm super excited. So yeah, no stay there. Cool. Um, I'm excited to grow them again and try again. This was a seed that my son wanted to try, the Big Max pumpkin. Um, he really, uh, he really thinks big pumpkins are cool. Last year we tried to grow a big pumpkin. We planted it. We started it way too early inside. It got a little, uh, but we went ahead and we planted it out. We went on vacation for almost three weeks. When we came back, it was just not doing well at all. So we're going to have to try again this year. He wants to try the Big Max pumpkin and the, I think it was an Atlantic giant or something that we tried last year. He wants to try them both. Got some more spilanthus because I want to sell some herbs this year at a Thrivalist Fair. And I thought this would be a really good one. This one is, um, it's called the toothache plant. And it's really good if you have like a, a sore tooth. You can also drink it in a tea if you have a sore throat. It's kind of like a chloroseptic. Uh, but this is a really handle, ha this is a really handy little medicinal herb to have around. And it's a beautiful plant. I'm excited about these. These are the Armenian yard long cucumbers. I mean, that's, that's fun. Mixed sunflowers. That's stunning, right? The Pacific Beauty Mix, the Calendula. Uh, we're going to find out if this is deer resistant to you because I'm going to plant a medicinal flower garden outside of my fence garden. We'll see. Um, oh, this is my free seed. I don't know what this is. Um, let's see, it doesn't even say. It's a salad bowl mix. So, some lettuce. Okay. Gosh, they're still. Okay, green arrow pea. My daughter loves peas, so she likes to eat them fresh out of the garden. It's like her favorite thing about the garden. So, ooh, chocolate cherry. Can you see it? Chocolate cherry sunflowers. German chamomile. Again, I'm leaning really heavy into the herbs this year. Coral bell pepper. Golden cow wonder bell. Cubanelle pepper, orange ox heart tomato. I'm excited about this. I've grown the pink ox hearts, and they are beautiful. But I'm I'm excited about this one. Some Vera lavender, catnip, Kellogg's breakfast tomato. 
Yeah, we like orange tomatoes. Can you tell? Triple crop. Now you see, I, I had to order all my favorite tomatoes because I have not been saving tomato seeds. And I could have easily saved these seeds last year, but I just, I don't know, I didn't do it. <laughs> so here, I've had to buy them all again, you know? Jack be a little pumpkin, because my son wants to grow the big pumpkins. My daughter wants to grow the tiny pumpkins. Got some sugar snap peas for Maddie. Maddie's my daughter who loves to eat the peas. Got some Roman chamomile. Different than the German chamomile. Lemon balm. See, all these are very good medicinal herbs. We got the Texas Early Grano 5, 502. It's an onion. It's an early onion. It's an early variety that it's good for short climates. Big red bell. Stinging nettle. Now, I don't know if I want to plant this or not. I can easily go and, and forage for this. But I thought maybe it would be good to have the seeds just in case. I don't, I don't know. Just in case there comes a time that I can't go forage for this. So this is probably going into my seed bank, quite honestly. Um, and... I will just go out and forage for some stingy nettle. Save that. And then we got the last one here is the North Georgia Candy Roaster Squash. It's kind of exciting. Alright, so there is the MI Gardener. I didn't I didn't remember. I didn't remember ordering that many. But I guess there it is. Fruits of the pudding, there they are. All right, and last but not least, there's one more. <laughs> this is um, Baker Creek, y'all. I love it. Man, this makes me so happy. Smile. You've got seeds. I love it. <laughs> Getting seeds really does make me smile. Okay. All right, first we'll get, ooh, the free seed. The free seed is a lettuce. It's a Merlot lettuce. Okay. And then we got some Dr. Witchies, Witchies, Dr. Dr. What am I saying? Tomatoes. So, everybody on YouTube is growing sweet peas, and I feel like there must be a reason. And the, I got the Old Spice Mix, which is supposed to be the most fragrant that you can buy. Well, from Baker Creek. So, I'm really excited. Last but not least, the Variegated Coxcomb. I am very excited about this. Um, this is not what it looks like on the, um, on the picture, though. Let me get my phone and show you. I mean, isn't that beautiful? I mean, so I'm really excited to see um, how it turns out. I, uh, <laughs> I'm really excited about this, but so yeah, that's all my seeds. I actually did, I mean, still, I still bought way less than I normally do. So I feel like we're doing good. And, um, and I'm about to do a video on how I store all of these seeds and make it make any sort of sense. If you like this video and want to see more videos about seed saving, gardening, prepping, um, just generally trying to get by in this crazy um, mess that is the, the world these days, um, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. See you next time.